Hello, I'm Tim Lichtenberg from Oxford. And this research project is in collaboration with Johanna Dronschkowska, Maria Schönbechler, Gregor Görlerberg and Tom Hans. Our project is related to how to build up uh, structure and disks and the resulting consequences for the formation of planets. Now, um, the relation to the workshop theme is uh, via the abundance of short-lived radionuclides in the solar accretion disk which must have, been pre uh, must have been due to the presence of an old star in the star-forming star -forming birth environment of the young sun. Now, um, to motivate the project, uh, we see the familiar ALMA images of substructure in the dust component of the disks, and we have ev complementary evidence from the solar accretion disks in the form of meteorites showing clustering in isotope space in the non carbonaceous reservoir, which represents inner solar system material, versus the carbonaceous reservoir, which represents outer solar system material. Now, what we do is we try to explain those simulations using a model of uh, the solar accretion disk and the um, coagulation of dust grains and their drift in the build-up build of planetesimal families. This makes use of simulations that were already published by uh, Joanna Dronschkowska in 2018 and Dronschkowska and Dumont. Uh, this here showing a video. Uh, if you want to have any more information about the uh, underlying mechanisms of the simulations, please talk to Joanna directly. She will be available during the workshop. Now, what you particularly see is the drift of the snow line from the infall to the disk stage and the buildup of distinct planetesimal reservoirs during the time window first because of the cold finger effect and then because of the traffic jam effect. The importance here is that these are two distinct reservoirs which differ not only in orbital uh, distance but also in formation time which is important for the availability of aluminum 26 heating and the energetics of that process. That is relevant for the formation of iron cores and planetesimals and therefore meteorite parent bodies and the availability of water that is accreted from the surrounding planetesimal uh, from the surrounding accretion disk. We try to match or we try to explain the meteoritic chronology here first of the core formation process and hydrothermal activity that is present, uh, observed in present day meteorites. Now, our simulations produce peaks of core formation on these uh, planetesimal bursts one at around one mega year for reservoir one and around two to three mega year for reservoir two. This explains the clustering of ages in the meteoritic record for the NC reservoir and for the CC reservoir. With regards to hydrothermal activity, meaning water rock reactions, reservoir 2 produces a peak at 4 to 6 mega years, which will produce the clustering of ages in the CC reservoir. Uh, in addition to this compositional information, uh, this, our, the model suggests an explanation for the isotope dichotomy. If you look at 2 and 15 AU, which are roughly representative of the pebble flux in the inner and outer solar system, then you see that the pebble flux over time deviates, which is because pebbles from the outer solar system are built in preferentially into materials in reservoir 2 and make up the outer solar system, therefore leading to a deviation in the pebble flux and hence if there was an underlying isotope dichotomy or inhomogeneity of the isotopes, then these would have been preferentially in, uh, incorporated into the outer solar system. Now, um, here's a summary of our model, uh, both in isotope evolution and growth chronology, which I'm very happy to discuss with you if you have questions about this. Um, major points of this are that the uh, that it, our model suggests a heterogeneous mode of accretion from starting with collisions, uh, going over to pebbles, and then transitioning again into late stage phase of collisions. The compositional dichotomy of a dry inner and wet outer solar system is the result in this case of a spatially and temporally distinct build-up of planetesimal reservoirs in the accretion disks because of the movement of the snow line, which drives a divergent evolution of the planetesimal families and therefore changes the compositional reprocessing in the inner versus the outer solar system, suggesting a different water or volatile accretion sequence than is typically suggested. Additionally, in this model, meteorites are unrepresentative of primordial building materials and uh, leftover planetesimals like meteoritic, par meteoritic parent bodies should form with layered structures of inhomogeneous composition. Thank you very much for your attention.